Oh. Hello, hello. How is everyone? It's your girl, Hungry Mama May. You gonna jump in? And come on down. This <laughs> is your girl, Emily. Emily. I have a bite in my mouth. We're having tonight. We just made a little spaghetti. I'm putting the recipe up with some homegrown tomatoes, some onions, some homegrown basil. And yeah, so let's get started. Oh, and we got some bread here too. Homemade bread? Right? Homemade bread, of course. Okay, my basil plant. I am taking some off for my, my dinner tonight. I have so many. I just keep recutting and recutting. And they grow and grow. It's quite amazing what I keep getting from this. Gotta make sure they don't flower because once they flower, they're done. So you want to keep picking off those flowers. This should be coming to the end. I've had it quite a while now, but we'll see. I got a lot from this, a lot of basil that I dehydrated and put up for my, <clears throat> for my um, Italian seasoning and stuff that I make. I'm trying to cut this all off and get rid of it. Okay, that's it for now. See all this I have. All right. See, I was able to get all this off there, and I'll use it for my pasta tonight. All right. All right, I'm going to go ahead and add some oil to my pan. All right. I know TV's loud. I know. But we're going to go ahead and put a little bit in. I'm making quite a bit of spaghetti, so I did put more oil than probably would approve of. It, it may be a tablespoon and a half, actually. You can see that, right? And then I'll go ahead and put my onions in. I'm going to let these fry a little. Just to get them soft. Get the I I think the problem is with the rhetoric. If you call it straight up, repeal and replace, you're not going to have any uh, democratic buy -in. That's just the flat out truth. Whether After this starts frying up a little bit, we'll put our garlic. Or redeveloping Obamacare or ACA. I actually think there's opportunity for buy -in. What else am I going to talk about? So where did you go? I want to talk about this. I like great stuff. Starting to sizzle. Well, around, we'll say for instance, there's no reason everybody is. It's like the best sound ever, correct? Right. You know, it's at a place where we're beyond that, right? We have some um, Italian bread in the oven. Coming up nicely. Tomatoes we're going to put in. Basil. And we'll see what else. One step at a time. You know, most of us add as we go along. Okay. So I'll go ahead and let this cook for about, I don't know, three or four more minutes. I'm going to add about um, yeah, at least a teaspoon of um, garlic, which would be two or three cloves for you. And I'll be back. 
So I walked away for a little bit and I got a little browner than I wanted it to, but that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and put in my garlic. Okay. longer now. I want to start adding my tomatoes because I don't want my onions to get any darker. Okay. So we'll start putting all the tomatoes down a little bit. not in a real big hurry, so I'm not going to rush this. I turn it down. Okay, I'm going to put my Italian seasoning in. About a teaspoon. And we take it and we rub it together in our palms and get the oil started. There we go. Okay. Okay, we'll let this cook down and we'll be back. I'm going to go ahead and put in, this is uh, red pepper, a few flakes, half a teaspoon or so. Do it to your level. I always like to fry them up a little bit. It brings out the flavor of the peppers. Delicious. See how this is cooking down? And these are all homegrown tomatoes, which for me makes it pretty special. All right. I'll let this cook down still more and we'll go to the next step. Okay, easy peasy. You know how to do this. I am just going to take my basil and chop it up some. Okay, it started to turn a little bit brown because I put it in the refrigerator until I was ready for it. And you know, sat for an hour or so, and it turns brown that quickly. So, this is it. We're gonna chop it up. And then we'll be ready to throw it in our pan in just a little bit. Not quite yet. This will be one of the last things we throw in. Okay. You can keep your basil as big as you like, but, you know, I cut it down some. I don't want real big pieces of basil in my food. Okay, and that's about it for me. All right. Be back with more. Okay, so now when you made your spaghetti, which I did, you leave some water from the spaghetti, pour a little bit in. I, I leave about a cup because you don't want your spaghetti to be dry. Okay, so I'm still going to let this cook down more. Just a little bit more. Constitutional wind to become president of the United States. This thing's going on and on. More than political okay. theater that goes on in Washington, D.C. It passes for something getting done. Uh, there is no smoking gun here. They may find a couple of hiccups, and maybe that's, you know, I don't know everything with the Man
see. Made some bread for dinner. And this should be almost done very shortly. Okay, then we have the spaghetti. We're going to go ahead and put these in. These will break up as we start turning them. They start getting a little bit cold, so they start sticking. I don't like to wash my spaghetti. Some people do. I do not. So you just mix all this together. Might want to add a little bit more oil to it, some olive oil. And even a little bit more more water if you feel it needs it. I like at the very end to add a little bit more oil of the olive oil. Not just any oil. It's got to be like olive oil. Okay, and then we have our basil. Get it all stirred up nice. And we're going to put lots of Parmesan cheese on it. But I won't put that on until I sit down and get ready to eat it. Because I don't want really more than what I, you know. I mean, normally you, you would put into this uh, at least a quarter of a cup. But I don't want that much. So what I'll do is when I get ready to eat it, that's when I'll add it. See how that all broke up nicely? Now, if I didn't put this much basil, I would have put some spinach or some kale, something like that. But since I put a lot of basil and I knew I was going to, yeah, that's all I need. All right. I have a lot left on my, not my tongue, so I'm going to go ahead and clean them out a little bit. Now comes a little bit of the olive oil. Make sure you use nice olive oil. Okay. And... New financial sanctions targeting Russia. There we go. We're done. We're going to turn it off. As you see, the basil really didn't get cooked at all. It just gets cooked in with the spaghetti. The heat from the spaghetti. And we're ready to sit down and enjoy a delicious Italian meal. See you at the table for our mukbang.